Hi, I'm going to show you a couple of what I consider to be hidden gems in the Short Codes Ultimate, which I have talked about before. Uh, so I've made a page, I've called it Hidden Gem, and I'm going to insert the short code. Now, if you watched my video on creating a services page the easy way, you'll recognize what I'm doing here. I'm going to put in a row of three columns, and this is how it comes by default. If it's not in there, you'll have to change the size to, to one third and three of them. So it'll take up the whole width of the area, but we'll make boxes one third each. I'm going to insert that short code. And let's go ahead and update it. And I'm going to control click to open the, uh, the page in a different tab so we will be faster going between the two. Let's have a look at what we've got with our basic setup. There we go. We've got three evenly spaced pieces of text called content. Now, I'm going to take out that word content and I'm going to replace it with another short code. And this one is simply called box. And I have it filled in from earlier. I'm going to put the title Amazing Thing 1. And there are different styles that you can do. I like the soft, but feel free to play around with them. Um, a lot of good, interesting styles in there. And let me do a darker kind of bluish black color like that. And leave the text at white. And we'll just leave all this alone and keep text here. If this isn't filled in, you'll just, just put anything in there that you'll know what to replace it with later when you look inside the code. Okay, let me update that. Let's go over here. Refresh. There. Amazing thing one. Now we've got a nice gradient title box here and our text inside here. Now, sometimes I have to start designing a site and I don't know exactly what I want yet or I'm designing it for a client and they haven't sent me the pictures of the text yet. And here is a nice little thing inside here. We can put in dummy text and I'm not going to put much here, like 10 words, and you can do it by words, paragraphs, and bytes. I'm not sure exactly what will come out in bytes, um, but I just want 10, about 10 words in there. And it doesn't have to mean anything. It just has to take up the space. And I'm going to take out the words text here and update and refresh. There we go, once it's fully loaded. Now I've got my dummy text in here, and every time I refresh the page, that will change. Uh, but it'll always be 10 words, and I kind of want it to change right now because I don't know what I'm going to put there, and I don't know what the client is going to put there, so I kind of want it to work for anything within that link. So now I'm going to put my cursor before dummy text and I'm going to insert another short code and this time I'm going to use dummy image. And you can select the size, the width, and the height. I'm going to leave it at 150 each right now. And it's got different categories. So uh, maybe you're, you're doing a cat website or you're doing a food website. So you, you'd want to put in some food there too, to, just to kind of give you an idea what it might look like later. So I'm going to insert that. 
And let's see, there's our dummy image right there. There's our dummy text. Let's update it. Okay, so our CSS didn't load quite right. So I'm going to refresh that. And still did not. There we go. So I've got my dummy image here and I've got the dummy text under here. Um, but it looks like this is a little small. I could center the image, but it looks like I could probably put it twice as long. So I'm going to go over here and this is the dummy image. It says width is 150 and height is 150. You can just go in and edit that. Okay, let's update. there. That's nice. So this goes almost the full width now. now. Let's go back to the page and I still have these two here, these two boxes that just say content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything between, as you see it's between SU column size one third and the ending tag SU column. So I'm going to go from SU column here SU column here. So that's exactly what will take the place of content there. And I will just simply override it, highlight it, and let's update. to load there we go nice three food boxes with dummy images dummy descriptions right underneath very nice very beautiful didn't take long at all I'm going to show you one more thing and that is the note and let's see let's just do a background color of kind of orange or maybe even go a little purple over here it might look nice since we're doing a restaurant theme let's just say today's specials and you can change the the radius here I'm going to leave it at three but it makes the uh, it's what makes the corners round and so let's insert that update Boom. And there you go. Today's specials. Um, if you want to put that text in the middle, you can simply put a div tag, div align equals center. And close it with another div tag. Update. There. In less than 10 minutes, we have our mock restaurant today's special page. And later, when you get the real content, you simply go back and take out dummy, dummy image and replace it 
with the image is the same size and you take out dummy text and write your own in there. That's the only things you'll have to change once you get the real content. I hope this has been useful for you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.